are we ladies? We are the Tigers. When your feet hit the ground, you should be running. You're in the hunt for your next great championship. Who are we? We are Tigers! Who are we? We are Tigers! Inside LSU Gymnastics with Coach Didi Bro, brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee. Welcome to Inside LSU Gymnastics. With head coach Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith. It was a historical night inside the Pete Maravich Assembly Center as the Fighting Tigers of LSU go over the 198 magical barrier for the first time in school history in front of a huge Mardi Gras crowd in the PMAC tonight. Didi, it was purple and gold and a little smattering of green in there. What an electric atmosphere, and the Tigers just fed off of it. Well, Mike, it, it was great. You know, you told me before we started, this was your 100th meet with us. Right. And I mean, that's 20 years yeah. that, that we go back. Yeah. And I, thank you and congratulations. Well, thank that's you. Great. And yeah. 20 years to, to, to go 198 on the 100th try, wow, we'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> but you know, you talk about the Mardi Gras atmosphere, and a lot of people opted out of Mardi Gras to come to this event. Um, we had a great crowd. I mean, they were up in the third tier. Um, in the rafters, and it was a loud, excited crowd. Lots of kids, a lot of kids in there tonight. And what made it so much fun is the, the Mardi Gras music, mm -hmm. the Mardi Gras theme we had going. Um, we gave away king cakes. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we drew for kids to come to dinner at my house mm -hmm. on, on Tiger Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm Catholic, and this is Tiger <laughs> Tuesday. is going to have to be Wednesday right. again because it's Mardi Gras Tuesday, right. and then I have Mass on Wednesday, so we'll do it Wednesday night at my house. But what a great event. It was indeed, and the Tigers got off to a roaring start on the vault. 49-575 DD and Kaylee Dixon just absolutely sizzled on the first vault. We knew that tonight was going to be special. Well, and uh, as I said, Kaylee Dixon with the 9-9-2-5 got things rolling, but Jesse Jordan had an unbelievable meet tonight, and it started on vault, and wow, it just sailed through the air. Well, and the Tigers kept it rolling over on the vault with Loimencia Hall with a 9-9, followed by Ashley Natt. The one and a half, she's just, it looked like she was just trying too hard tonight. Well, and she nailed it in the warm-up, and we thought this may be the night. Um, and we see it, we know it's there, we know she's capable, but she gets so juiced up and we're constantly giving her this little ratchet it down sing signal and what a, what a beautiful vaulting lineup. I mean, you, we're going to throw out a 985 tonight. There you go. And because Sari Morrison with a 9925 share, shares the, uh, the vault title tonight with, uh, with both Kaylee uh, and also with Jesse tonight. And then Reagan Corville finishes it up for the LSU Tigers on the vault. 9-9 nine, nine is her score. Tonight, the, the judges had so much good stuff in front of her that Reagan had a little bit of body break in there. Might have shifted her foot a little bit, and so it cost her, but wow. It was indeed, and the Tigers with the 49-575 got off to the roaring start. I use confidence in about everything that I do. I feel like as long as you have confidence, then you're going to feel like you have the ability to do anything. So that's what really helps me get through the competition. It means everything to me. I'm so proud to be a part of this organization and to be on this gymnastics team. I love coming out here and competing and really being supported by friends and family. So it's awesome. On the uneven bars tonight, Kaylee Dixon again gets you started off, and then you move right into Randy Wyrick, who sets her season high. And Randy did a great job. You know, she I thought she did a super job hitting her handstands. You know, we we're we're really glad to have her back in the lineup. I think that makes a lot of difference for us in that event. Jesse Jordan was third in the lineup with a 9-9 score tonight, and as you said, came sailing off of that dismount, and it was just a thing of beauty. You know, when you stick the dismount, you have, you have she has so many handstands in that routine, and her release move in the beginning of that set is high and above that bar, and then it it just flows. And and when you, when you do the kind of good quality gymnastics that she does. She's going to get the score. Well, and speaking of score, Brittany Ramsey, 9.875 for her tonight. And uh, I know she's been limited to just one event, but what she's giving you is, is amazing. But she's so stretched and so beautiful, and her swing is becoming very aggressive. You look at these last giants into her dismount, but just amplitude throughout the routine, and then she just drills it right in the mat. Well, the Tigers were working on something special as you get into the final two spots in the bars lineup, Dee Dee. Reagan Corville and Sari Morrison, both of them 9925. Well, and you know, Reagan, the, the key for Reagan is to be quick on bars. Mm -hmm. if, if she does what she does in practice and really gets to the, her handstand positions and she's quick to extend, her, her release move rises above the bar and she follows it with nice handstand positions. But, 
I mean, it's it's a pretty good routine. Well, Sari Morrison, your anchor tonight, uh, moves into ninth place tonight, all time in LSU gymnastics history. Now the ninth place all time gymnast in terms of titles won. An amazing effort, especially considering that she's only gone in two events in the last couple of years. Well, An you know, amazing Mike, effort. I've been here the whole time, and I can't think of another student athlete that has has done what she has done in in two events. I don't know if I've had any other two event people that have been so superlative. Maybe we just need a new category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But tonight, 9925 for Sari Morrison on the uneven bars. Her second title in as many events. The Tigers turn the horn at 99075. It's the first time that I can remember yeah. that the Tigers have been over 99 at the halfway point of the meet. I think we might have been close to that mm -hmm. um, on one of these road things that we, we did we over were. the last three weeks. And that's the benchmark. I mean, you've got to be there going into beam so that you can push it over the top. Because it's it's hard on beam to, to stack up a bunch of 9-9s, and we were very close tonight. Inside LSU Gymnastics with Dee Dee Bro is brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee, the LSU Tiger Spotters, Wow Cafe American Grill and Wingery, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, PJ's Coffee, Premier Office Products, and by Hair Now. Reggie, what are you doing at gym so early? Well, Dee Dee, I'm getting ready. The season's here. I know, and I'm so excited I could flip. Holy cow! Holy cow! LSU gymnastics tickets are less than the movies and fun for the family. Tickets start at just $3, so make sure to get yours today. Malia, my name is Ainsley. What are you going to do when you graduate? Thanks for the question, Ainsley. I'm actually going to be teaching here in Baton Rouge after I graduate. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics. At the halfway point of an exciting meet in the Maravich Center, it was LSU over 99 points, an amazing benchmark to hit. And, the, and Dee Dee, the LSU Tigers, move into the balance beam where you kind of got to catch your breath, yeah. focus, and then try to hit a set. Well, you know, we got two freshmen in that lineup, mm -hmm. and um, so we really do try to settle them down. And that's why I put Lamencia Hall first. And she went up and very calmly went through the process of doing a nice routine. Her tempo was good. Um, she really didn't have any big body breaks. She had a, a nice stick on the landing. Um, you know, she's got her, her series and, and good leap combinations. And you know, I, I get a 9.85, a 9.875 on that routine. I'm taking it to the bank. And it was, and it tied her season high, and then you moved right on into Kaylee Dixon, who sets a season high at 985. Well, and you know, we know from the get-go that Kaylee gets up there, and what we need her to do is be solid, settle down, and, and set the next person up. Just go up and give us a solid routine with, with no execution breaks, but it's, it's beautiful, and it's solid. And sticks the dismount, she's going to get a 985. Then your first freshman up in the lineup, Sydney Ewing from right down I-10 in Acadiana. And uh, all Sydney does is hop up on the balance beam in front of a huge crowd. Nerves of steel, 9825, kept it rolling. Well, and you know, we wanted to get her in as many events as we can. And, and, and as you watch her go through this routine, that, that layout, that backhand swing, back layout. Mm. And she, she started learning that at our camp. And so I'm, I am extremely proud that she took that home from camp and now we are reaping the benefits of that, but it's beautiful. It's stretched, it's solid, and then her leaps are good. All she's got to do is stick that C dismount, and that's that's the one trouble part that we've worked the hardest in the gym, and I think that, you know, this time that we've got a little bit extra with her, that's going to get better. One freshman gives way to another. It's Ashley Nat, fourth in the lineup on the balance beam in the Missouri meet inside the Maravich Center, 9875 for that fabulous freshman. Well, and it was a good routine, and she, she lets Beam kind of get in her head a little bit. Her, you know, she opens with a front aerial. She hesitates a little bit, takes a tiny break, but it's solid. And she turns, and she's got two big leap combinations. Switch leap, which 180, she gives us beautiful execution. Straddle quarter, it was nice tonight. Round off double full, stick the dismount, and boom, she brings it home. It was great. Well, and then Jesse Jordan, your Beam anchor who 
just uh, you've called her the ice lady in the past, and uh, the Tigers absolutely had to have her tonight, and she stepped up in a very, very big way. Jesse gets up, does a beautiful, beautiful front aerial beat jump, and then she follows that with a back handspring back layout. No breaks, amplitude in her leaps. All she's got to do is her side summit, which she does quite well with a little bit of balance check. And we're all thinking, bring it home, bring it home. <laughs> she stretches the dismount a little too much and takes a step. So, I mean, and, and these are like C dismounts. I'm like, come on, y'all. We'd have had a 49.4 or 49.5 right. on beam, but for C dismount. Right. So, you know, I know what we're going to work this week. 49.275 is only a half tenth, rather, off of the LSU uh, season high on I know, balance but beam. but I'm greedy. We've got, to do, <laughs> we've got to do better on that event. Well, and I'm sure the Tigers will. Get back in the gym and work on those things, but I'll tell you, Dee, we turned the corner to the flow exercise. The crowd came to their feet, four fingers in the air. You could see them all around, uh, absolutely getting into this because they knew that the Tigers were knocking on the door of a first ever 198. Well, and I think that the the energy and the enthusiasm that the crowd brought to this event and our kids got electric. And you know, when Kaylee Dixon starts you off. And there's really not a visible deduction in that routine, but I think the judges are like, well, maybe we maybe we can't start out with a 9-9, but they did. Right. And all of a sudden, the kids are, it's like a, a feeding frenzy. And, and, and they just fed off of that momentum, fed off that energy, and off they went. So your fifth year senior, 9-9-2-5, a career high score for Kaylee Dixon gives way to the freshman, Ashley Knatt, who also turns in a career high performance. Well, and it was a good routine. You know, we've had a lot of problems getting her to settle down and be supple in her landings and, and work the diagonal. And you see in his first pass, full in, boom, mm -hmm. it was nice. And then her two and a half punch front was dynamic and not even near the, the corner. And she dances and she's out there very relaxed and very confident and so comfortable with what she's doing. And she knows that she's setting up for that last pass, double back, all she's got to do is pike it and land soft, which she did. So, I mean, it, she earned every, everything she got tonight. And you said it, the feeding frenzy was absolutely on at that point because then it's your junior from Manville, Texas, Jesse Jordan, who's sniffing an all-around crown tonight, <laughs> yeah. goes 9-9-2-5, sets a new career high. The Tigers are three for three. The, the kids are sensing it. They know, the team knows all she's got to do is land that last tumbling pass and she's bringing home another big score and bam, and she does it. There it was, three consecutive 9-9-2-5s gives way to the defending SEC floor champion, Jessica Savona, ties her season high with a 9-9 tonight. You, you'll see her in this first pass, it's beautiful. There's, there's absolutely no step, no flaw. She brings it down to just a, a two-foot landing without the lunge, which is a huge statement. Like it, it, it says, I'm in control of what's going mm -hmm. on here. Then she dances a little bit, gets ready for that next pass, which is a full end, which most people do in their, sec in their first pass. She seems to throw that head back sometimes, and it, it gives her a hard time to land it, and she did that tonight. Then Reagan Corville ties her season high on the floor with a 9-9-5, and she is just absolutely beautiful on this event. Well, she loves that routine. You know, Ashley, Ashley hit a home run right there. I mean, she, she opens with a double Arabian, and she comes in the gym every practice, and she does them on the floor, not in the pit. Not, I mean, she does them, and, and that landing is getting better and better. And then she follows it up with a front to double tuck, and her, her, her dance, her expression, and you got the team on the side doing all that dance stuff with her. <laughs> and as she prepares for that last, that double pike, she knows if she does that, she's very close to the 198 bringing it home for the team. Well, and then finally, uh, the uh, performer on the floor that everyone loves to see, especially in the Maravich Center, Loy Mencia Hall. Uh, 9975 was just a hair off perfect. One judge did go perfect 10 tonight. Uh, but you know, words are, and I'm in the word business, and, it, and it's, it's hard to come up with new words to describe exactly what she does for LSU. Well, you know, she, her little church group, she does interpretive dancing for a church group, and, and, and they were there tonight in force. But you know, when you look at her, open that tumbling, open that with a double layout, and there's it's stretched and it lands straight up, and then she dances right out of it, and there's there's no doubt in her mind that she is in total control, not of just the floor, but of the arena. And you, you see all of that expression and all that excitement, and she prepares for that middle pass. And then that, that's a hard pass for her because it's not power tumbling. She's got to control and move it forward. 
and she's there and she knows when she goes down that sideline and she starts all that dancing and she turns with that last jerk and does that seat drop. And, the, the and it goes place, to drum line. The place goes <laughs> crazy. Yeah. And she knows at that point all I got to do and, we, and I keep telling her soft, soft. You've got to get it up in the air and then bring it down soft. And when she does that, she is on fire, and then she does that. And you say waving to the crowd. It's some kind of some <laughs> kind of dance thing that she does, and it 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 lights it up. Well, all I know is thousands of people yeah. were absolutely on their feet for Loi Mencia Hall seals the deal tonight for the Fighting Tigers of LSU with the first ever 198 for LSU in any gymnastics meet in history. The wow performance of the week is going to be our crowd tonight. Over 7,000 on a Mardi Gras weekend. Go Tigers! We're back on Inside LSU Gymnastics. You know, the LSU Tigers have recently been on the road for nearly a month, Dee Dee, and even though the Tigers are competing at the highest level in the gym, it's important for them to compete at the highest level in the classroom as well. How is that possible after being on the road so much? Well, our academic center, Jade Bryant, was a, a former gymnast of, of mine, and she does a tremendous job monitoring what they do and what they have to do, and she keeps track of everything. And, and she and Bob are, are in conversation every day about every single student athlete on this team. And I can tell you the commitment that this team has to academics and the commitment that Jade has to them has been part of our village of success. Our own Kaylee Dixon takes us inside the Academic Center. This piece brought to you by Drs. Sherry and Marty Luther. Hi, I'm Kaylee Dixon, and we're going to take a tour of the Cox Communications Academic Center for student athletes. Let's go inside and take a look. The Academic Center for Student Athletes contains 54,000 square feet of space, with five computer labs, 150 computer stations, a 1,000 seat auditorium and a new mathematics lab. The motto of the Academic Center is enter to learn, lead to serve. And that is what each student athlete at LSU strives to accomplish. Every sport at LSU has an academic advisor who assists with major selection, course scheduling, and full academic support. The gymnastics team is fortunate to have Jade Bryan as our academic advisor. Jade was a gymnast at LSU from 2002 to 2005, and she was a four-time Scholastic All-American during her career. I think it's been a real pleasure to come back as a former student athlete here, a gymnast, and get to work with the same population. Um, you know, I remember going through the exact same things, the class loads, the traveling, the practice, you know, that team, the great team chemistry that they have. And um, it's just, it's a real pleasure to get to help instill the same values that Dee Dee and Bob are pushing. I think the ultimate goal is for them to walk across that stage at the end of it all with a diploma from a tier one university. All these girls coming in, that's kind of the end goal. And I, I think it's great because all the coaches and the staff, is, they are all behind, you know, the message of, you know, academics First, this is a tier one university and you're here to get your education, um, you know, as part of it all. The Academic Center features a tutorial center that houses approximately 1,400 tutor appointments per week with 90 content and 20 strategy tutors on staff to work with student athletes. Six full-time learning specialists are also on staff and each sport at LSU is assigned a specialist who coordinates the learning needs with each individual athlete. The Shaquille O'Neal Life Skills Program is also housed in the Academic Center. The program has a media training studio on site for individual and small group media training sessions. And the goal of the program is to ensure that each student athlete leaves LSU with a professional resume and interview experience. 
The Life Skills Program helps student athletes prepare for life after college and athletics with certain programming throughout the year. The computer labs are a great place for student athletes to do research and work on homework and projects. And each lab features individual rooms for a quieter study environment. The new math lab utilizes tutors in math education to provide additional reinforcement in college algebra and trigonometry. And students can sign up for appointments as needed throughout the semester. Bo Campbell Auditorium is the largest classroom on campus with a seating capacity of more than 1,000. Each seat contains an outlet for a laptop and every seat is equipped with a clicker to assist in taking quizzes. The library inside the Academic Center is a great place for student athletes to work on group projects as well as individual assignments. The Academic Center is a great place for student athletes to use after class and practice schedules are finished each day. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Cox Communications Academic Center for Student Athletes. Have a great day and go Tigers! Taste that brew, pillow and apple pie. Walk on in, see if you friends where you at what night. DJ. Hey. DJ. Yeah. Got to get up DJ. early in the morning, man. DJ. You know, I got to have my coffee. DJ. So I'm going to run on down to PJ. You got to have it. PJ. Early in the morning. The Premier Office Products Stick of the Week belong to two LSU Tigers, Jesse Jordan and Kaylee Dixon, setting career highs in the all-around tonight against Missouri in the Maravich Center. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics. As I said, a historical night, Dee Dee. It was win number 250 all-time for the LSU Tigers inside the Maravich Center, and uh, that, that in and of itself is an amazing figure. Over 7,000 fans on a Mardi Gras night? Are you kidding me? Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw it to, to, the, to the fans and everybody that came out tonight on this Mardi Gras night. It was incredible. We had an autograph session after. A, somebody gave me this tiara, which <laughs> is going to like go in our trophy case because this is going to benchmark the, the big score tonight and, and the huge crowd and just everything that happened tonight. And, and you, you rattled off all the <laughs> records and everything that happened. 250 wins, the first 198 in school history tonight in front of 7,000 fans. But you know the good news is, if that's not good enough, we get to do it all again next week. The Fighting Tigers take on NC State at 7 o'clock in the Maravich Center. It'll be pink meat. So wear your pink. Come on out and support our uh, efforts to uh, add to breast cancer research. And uh, in and around the Baton Rouge area, Didi, it'll be a fantastic event there. And, of course, our fans from out of town can always tune in to the Go Zone and catch that live video yeah. as well. So for head coach Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith saying thank you so much for joining us inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you next week. Inside LSU Gymnastics with Didi Bro has been brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee, the LSU Tiger Spotters, Wow Cafe American Grill and Wingery, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, PJ's Coffee, Premier Office Products, and by Hair Now. All we need is one final pass, and Loy Mencio Hall can help the Tigers to that elusive 198 team score. Round off, double back, stuck it! She got it! And the Tigers of LSU are on their way.